Hi everybody, it's Tracy coming at you with a haul video. Um, I should have done this before I started using some of the products. <laughs> but I was so excited to use everything that uh, I uh, forgot. So, anyway, first off, I got um, this paper collection um, in a 6x6. Six six. I love it so much, I might go back and get it in a 12x12. 12 12. And this is the Bow Bunny um, Forever Fall Collection. Now, autumn is my favourite time of the year. Um, you may have seen these pages, so I won't go too long. I'm trying to figure out which is the best way to do this for you. Right. That's the first one with a sunflower down it and a beautiful burnt orange. It looks really washed out on this camera, but it's a beautiful burnt orange. Then you've got the stripe in all the autumn colours. It's like deep reds, golds, oranges with leaves down the side. Love this one. This is just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. This is the most gorgeous colour on it. I don't know. What, I have to have a look at the colour settings on my camera because this is a, a blood red orange colour which it doesn't look like on my gown, but it's beautiful. Really gorgeous colour. So you get three of each of these designs. That is just gorgeous. Just the leaves. Again, it's orange, it's not yellow <laughs> or gold. It's absolutely orange. Um, but that is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that one. That is a dark brown with sunflowers. Isn't that beautiful? This is a gorgeous blue. Um, broken China blue. Another lovely page. Oh, more of, of the leaves. just love this time of the year. This is again a blood orange colour with a tangerine kind of pattern if you can see it. Camera's just not doing these justice. That's another pretty one. Let's see if I take this out a little bit, if it's going to be a little bit better for you. Look at that. Wee, look at all those sunflowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that one. I need to get some that I can stick on it as well. And this one is like a honeycomb and all the colours that have been used through the pad. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I got that. Um, I then got some chipboard letters from Paper Mania. They're bare essential back to basics pack and that's the alphabet on the back. Um, also got my first that special touch mask and I got the circles retro circles it's called that might make an interesting background. Then I really like the their basic mini albums. So I got a rectangular one. I 
and a square one which I thought was going to be a lot smaller I didn't realize it was going to be this big but I really like it and that's quite a big that's like a side plate size that you might put your biscuits on when you're having your cup of tea and a square one then with um, Halloween and everything I bought some sugar coated breads in uh, purple, orange, black and green I then bought some bow bunny breads I don't know if you can see them, can you see the pumpkin? So cute. And they've got um, the colours of Halloween plus uh, as like pumpkin ones, ones with spider webs on. So they're really cool. I then bought a little packet of um, little tiny tags. 24 tags. Uh, let's see if I can. I haven't opened this yet actually. Fingers. So we've got treats. Bats. Get two of each. Happy Halloween. Sweet treat. Ooh, I like this one. October 31st with the cat. Then you've got the moon and stars. Pumpkin. <gasps> Purple ghost with a boo. Happy Halloween again on white with orange. Trick or treat with a spotty background. Hmm. A white tag with a little tiny candy corn in the corner. Ooh, spider! I don't like spiders. <laughs> Not one of my favourite things. <laughs> That's the terrible thing. So much stuff that I like, I can't buy because I'm absolutely—I have terrible arachnophobia. So some of the stamps that I really love, but I won't buy them because I've got spiders in them. And I'm sure that anybody else that doesn't like spiders will understand that. If you don't, then you probably think it's a big thing, but really, I don't like them. <laughs> then I got some, it's like velvet flocked trim. Now this came all together but I've already used some of these and I, I cut them up and that's, can you see, Ooh. <laughs> and that came all together, all joined up and there was about six of them but I separated them because I want to use them separate on the project rather than use the whole thing on, on the bottom and I also got um, in an orange Make sure I get it the right way round. And it says, Happy Halloween! I really like that. And it's got great texture. Because um, I've already started a Halloween mini. That's why some of my stuff has gone. <laughs> then, from eBay, From Petaloo, I got um, these. They have purple, orange, green, black, and um, some of them are just regular flowers. A few are missing because I've already attacked it. But look, 
Some have got twinkle on them. Mm. Look at this green. This is gorgeous. Look at that. And then you get some centers. And I think I paid £2.99 on eBay for those. And I'll show you where some of the flowers have gone. Just a quick because it's not finished, I've only just started on it. Um, there's my Halloween, or the beginning of my Halloween mini. And that's where I've used the flowers here and here. So that's all I'm showing you of that at the moment because it's not finished. I also got um, a bit creative and made myself a brooch. Um, let's see if I can get this so you can see it. So at this end we have a little pumpkin. And then a ghost. And then, if she'll turn around properly, a witch's face. Then a haunted house. I don't know if you can see that one. Separate that out. Can you see it if I put it down better like that? No, not really. There you go. Can you see it now? Haunted house. And then the last one is a witch's hat with a little pumpkin hanging on it. If it will stop swinging around. There you go. So that's my brooch. Um... I then bought a sheet of paper separate because I just loved the paper. Um, this is Bow Bunny Press, Fright Night Words. And I just loved it. So I bought a sheet of that. I just put my bits back. Then I bought myself a die, Happy Halloween die, uh, for two reasons. One, obviously, I liked it and I wanted it for the Happy Halloween. But secondly, it cuts that shape, which I like. And I can use on other cards with other colours. So, and that was for me, Ben. That was only four ninety nine, and I've seen it for nine pounds. So bargains. What else? Oh yes, the paper pack that I'm using for my mini is uh, Echo Park. Happy Halloween. Um, I'll try and there you go. Sorry about the glare. They're the, I'm not going to get them all out because, as I said, I've started using them. But they're the papers, and they are lovely. The colours are brilliant. Um, you've got spots, dashes, harlequins. Bats, houses, uh, witches' hats, pumpkins, and you get the sticker sheet on the back, and I'll show you that. There you go. I love those witches' legs. Borders, and I got this off of eBay, um, and I got 12 papers. Five pounds, which I thought was excellent value for money. If you've looked at this paper collection and you thought about it, I would say get it because it is really, really nice. If you want something on the lighter side of Halloween, you don't want to go too dark, then you know this is is the paper to go for. It's lovely paper. As I said, I've started my mini on it, so. 
that's why I can't go show you it all because I've already cut into so much of it. Then at my local um, town shop, I got all these for a pound. Um, there's horrible things at the bottom which I won't be using. There's pumpkins. There's uh, Happy Halloween pumpkins in silver. Then there's um, are these witches? Yeah, witches on brooms in the black. Look at the little ghosts. <laughs> then there's cats of many colours. And then I've got skulls in white and be that lovely orange. Right, what else have I got? Um Oh, excuse me for one moment. I need to move slightly. Let's see what have I got here. Right. I'll tell, I'm going to have a whinge as well. Oh, I'm going to have to come back with the second part. Sorry, guys.